Howdy folks, Justin here, and I don't know about you, but I was super pumped when I watched the uh, Bethesda E3 announcement last night and saw that uh, we are getting our first huge expansion, 150 new cards. I wanted to talk a little bit about what I think about what we've re been revealed so far, share that with all y'all, and uh, yeah, um, just get some hype going. I mean, like, this is so cool, super cool. The expansion is going to drop June 29th, so just a couple weeks from now. Uh, so we should be getting previews any day now. Uh, but I, I'm just so pumped about this. Skyrim, uh, a game I have sunk hundreds of hours into, uh, was re announced as the very first uh, location for our first large pack-based expansion. So uh, I got a couple images here that I want to uh, move through. Here we have um, one of the promotional images for the expansion. Check that out. Got dragons fighting people. And it's been announced that we are uh, going to be getting a lot of new dragon cards. Um, from what I've read, it says that we're going to be getting at least Alduin and uh, Parthenax. Parthenax. I, I, if you've watched the channel before, you know I butchered the names of all of the uh, lore-related stuff. I have trouble enough with the English words I do know. Uh, fictional nouns are a little beyond me, but, uh, so this could be, you know, Odoving's cousin or something like this. Either way, super excited. The art quality, by the way, look at this. I mean, I feel like this is a, I've always really enjoyed the, the quality of art on, uh, Legends cards to begin with, but this looks like a, you know, just another step up. We saw already in Fall of the Dark Brotherhood that the, uh, the production values on the art were just, you know, rocking the highest level they've been so far. This looks a whole other world. This is beautiful. Um, but yeah, I, apparently what we're going to see in Heroes of Skyrim is, naturally, of course, some Heroes of Skyrim. Uh, names that have been mentioned are Aela the Huntress, uh, Delphine, uh, like I said, Alduin and, and Parthenax, but also a favorite of mine, Jazargo. <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to Jazargo. I was asked, actually, by the Direwolf Digital team months ago, uh, what characters from the Skyrim universe, uh, you know, I would expect in a Skyrim-related, uh, expansion, and one of those was definitely Jazargo. For those curious, the other two were Barbus, the dog, and Lydia, the uh, housefrau, or whatever. <laughs> so, Jazargo uh, is going to be coming, <laughs> coming soon. We've also got uh, a really cool new mechanic in Shouts, which are going to be like action type cards, I believe. Um, where, you know, just like Fuss Row Da is a skill that you level up as you play Skyrim. Um, gaining increased power every time that you get a new uh, part of that, a new word. Uh, shouts are going to have an effect, you know, the first time you play it. And then you draw a second copy of that shout and you play it, and it's going to have uh, a, a leveled up effect, a more powerful effect. You draw a third card and it's going to do even more, uh, you know, simulating the uh, shout mechanic from Skyrim, which I think is a really cool way to uh, do some neat things. I think that's a mechanic that encourages... Uh, you know, longer games, obviously, time investments, so you can get maximum value from your shouts. And I'm really eager, uh, I'm really excited to see what kind of shouts we're going to be getting. We're also getting the Companions, which was sort of like the Warriors Guild, uh, the Fighters Guild, I guess, if, uh, from Skyrim, uh, that werewolf crew. And they're going to be uh, coming with a new uh, ability. That it's sort of reminiscent of the Nord mechanic, where things happen when you break your opponent's runes. Um, these guys are going to change into werewolves uh, when you break your opponent's runes, which is just super cool. I'm really looking forward to that. Also, we're going to get stuff from the College of Winterhold. We're going to get cards to deal with the, uh, the Civil War um, that Skyrim kind of touches on. We got 150, more than 150 brand new cards. And yeah, we are getting this in just a couple weeks. Uh, also announced in the E3 um, presentation was that we're coming to mobile next month, which is just an, uh, super fantastic too. I know that when I was uh, off of, uh, when I didn't have a computer for a month, I, I was really bummed out I couldn't play on my cell phone. In fact, you're going to be able to do that soon is super exciting. Uh, I mean, I was so desperate to play games on my cell phone that I played some Hearthstone, and, and I don't know if you guys have played Hearthstone, but that game is not fun. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Legends is amazing, and uh, Hearthstone is, um, well, it's just not. <laughs> Anyway, I'm really looking forward to all this. I do have a little bonus thing I'd like to show, something I'm pretty excited about. Last night during the E3 presentation, during the Elder Scrolls Legends uh, portion of the show, uh, there was some screenshots that were shown, some action shots, and look who made a cameo ex a cameo appearance. 
in that, uh, in that, that's the Justin Larson showing up in front of 200,000 people during the E3 presentation. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is from the test server when I was uh, previewing uh, Chaos Arena like six months ago. Uh, it was a huge blast. Uh, I'd love to be involved in something like that again if there is ever an, ever an opportunity to do so. But that was pretty cool. Uh, I was really excited. Charmer mentioned uh, that he saw that. I was actually busy cutting and pasting things and uh, trying to make some cool photos to uh, tweet out. But that definitely happened. We also have one other cool thing, cool image I wanted to show you that I grabbed from the presentation, and that is this. I don't know if this is a new card back or what this is, but uh, it looks awesome. Um, <clears throat> you know, I think Direwolf and Bethesda have both done a really good job of listening to, uh, you know, our comments and our um, our feedback for the last year uh, as we've all been enjoying this game. And uh, I know uh, repeatedly people have been asking for new card backs. It's not something you see a lot of in Legends. Um, the, the card back isn't really a prominent part of the uh, the display at all. But if there was to be a new card back, this would be a cool one. Uh, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the use of the uh, Skyrim Dragon symbol thing. So that is where we are at. Uh, you know, that's about it. Uh, I'll see you all on the ladder. I'll see you all in the Great North. Um... Winter's coming, right? Or is that is that something else? <laughs> Either way, Jazargo will be with you soon, and uh, we're definitely going to be playing some Jazargo wherever that fits in. Anyway, uh, oh, one last thing I we did see um, in the uh, in the presentation was a uh, a new another version of the uh, the Rumble thing we had going on the Gauntlet mode, uh, and this one is going to be. Uh, well, these are all subject to change because this was images from the test server, but it looks like a thousand gold to enter, um, like 50 packs if you go 12 wins, just like a really, really intense looking, um, tournament mode. Uh, you know, we kind of got eased into it with this last one, which was a lot of fun, by the way. I did three runs. I did, uh, had a lot of fun with, uh, Life Gain Midrange Crusader, with, uh, Scout Ramp, and with Mono Purple, and those videos will be, uh, coming out throughout the week. But yeah, I I am super jazzed about this. I'll keep you updated with everything uh, I see as far as new cards are revealed and stuff like that. Let you know where I think those are going to fit in. But 150 plus new cards is going to be the biggest shakeup to this game we have ever had. And uh, I love brewing new decks, so expect in the next month some completely new ideas hopefully coming from this channel. Have a good one, guys.